Didn't think I'd say this, but my advice? Go for the iPhone mini this year. You might not get a chance like this ever again. It's not just me being dramatic, although, between you and me, I kinda like keeping people on their toes. No, seriously, word is iPhone mini is gonna be discontinued. Like yesterday, the iPhone 12 mini sales flopped, so this year's iPhone mini will be the last to come out of the Apple oven. So, loved the 5.4 inches phone, one that went against the phablets and foldables of today's world. Now's the year to get one, especially since it will carry nice upgrades but won't be so different from the vanilla and Pro that you'll regret buying it. Actually, you know what? If you want a new iPhone Pro, wait one more year. As far as I know, the iPhone 13 series will be a line of incremental updates, nothing major. Just like hotels skip the 13th floor entirely, you might want to skip the iPhone 13 also. Unless you have a weak spot for the mini. The compact iPhone will have some design changes that you love to show off to your friends. Even if only virtually right now, like, the notch will definitely be shorter, if not thinner. Plus, the lenses will shift. Yup, the ones Apple stacked vertically will see eye-to-eye -eye diagonally now. Speaking about cameras, you won't see extraordinary improvement there. The wide-angle lens on iPhone 12 will return, but the processing power and crucial parts like battery are gonna see a slight update. What do I mean? Well, the A15 chip is going to come to the iPhone 13, even if Apple is having a hard time securing it right now. TSMC, which is their main chip supplier, is struggling to meet demand. And that's with Apple, their biggest client. Don't want to think what the other phone makers that are dealing with TSMC are facing. Because guys, the struggle is real. Worldwide real. The health situation we're still dealing with, plus weather anomalies like the one in Texas, have caught us all unprepared. I mean, we users had to deal with staying mainly indoors, stocking up on food while furiously shopping our days away. We had to postpone our holiday plans indefinitely, and with the cash laying around, I mean, it was all too easy to spend on a phone, tablet or laptop. OEMs when knocking on suppliers' doors needing all the parts they have as soon as possible. Well, what do you know? There were no more left. But hey, let's cheer up. They're smart people, they're gonna handle it. You're probably gonna be able to get your hands on an iPhone 13 if you really want it. An iPhone with a smaller notch than ever before, thinner camera bump, bigger batteries and more storage and maybe even better audio. Pro and Pro Max will even join the 120Hz phones. Yes, Apple finally caved and two new colors will join the Pro Club, an orange and matte black. So, you could say, wait, they're not that bad. Why did she ever say to wait? Well, because I have an idea of what the next two years are gonna bring. Check this out and then tell me if it's still better to buy this year's iPhone. 8K video, periscope camera, punch hole display, 48 megapixel shooter. Oh yeah, these are the main highlights from what it's likely gonna be iPhone 14 and 15. We'll have to wait and see how Apple decides to split these goodies, but those are gonna be major, design and camera wise. And hey, if you want to invest in an Apple device this year, there's always iPads to consider, maybe even AirTags if we're lucky. Apple is hosting its spring event this week and iPads are gonna be under the spotlight iPad Pro to be sure, but also a mini. Yes, the iPhone mini might be retiring, but the iPad mini could resurface. The 8.4 inch iPad with smaller bezels, but still sporting a home button and a touch ID. That doesn't mean all eyes are gonna be on the mini, right? The Pro is still gonna shine and look better than ever because word is mini LED is gonna happen. The display tech will come to the Pro this year and even a new Apple Pencil. AirTags, is Apple finding ready to show them off or should we just stop waiting for them hard to say guys they might happen this year but like with all rumors there's still a five percent chance they won't how important are air tags to you though even if apple decides to postpone them are you willing to be on the lookout for them and iphone 13 mini happy it's gonna be the last of its kind or not what apple devices are on your wish list this year if any let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. See ya!